Hey guys, it's Luke Johnson from the philosophy teaching app Noetic. Go download it for your iPhone, your iPad, your Droid, whatever. I wanted to do a quick shout out to someone's intellectual work that I'm really enjoying that's up there on YouTube for you all to consume. His name is Robert Shutt and he's quickly becoming one of my favorite communicators of Soren Kierkegaard's work. And uh, over the past day or two, I've consumed two lectures that he has done on fear and trembling. And I'm doing this because I'm going to be building some courses for the Noetic app on Soren Kierkegaard. And you know, I just need as much stuff to be as good a teacher as I can possibly be. Um, and in a really efficient manner. And I'm finding Robert's work does the job. And I hope you enjoy it as well. I'll put, I'll put links to it in the description box below. But w let me speak to the virtues of what Robert is doing here. A, a, lot of, a lot of people who try to communicate the ideas of Soren Kierkegaard do so from a, a, a speculative, objective, professorial sort of standpoint. Robert does not claim to be a professor. He does not claim to be the most knowledgeable PhD on the planet. And that's cool because Robert, in what he's doing, you can see the anguish, the joy, the passion he has for Soren Kierkegaard just as someone who's profoundly preoccupied with the ideas that Soren Kierkegaard tries to express existentially. And truthfully, I think he is going to be really effective at being an advocate for Soren Kierkegaard in a way that people who hold traditional academic posts may not be. So I wanted to give a shout out to Robert to acknowledge his hard work, his vulnerability, and the service he is doing to us all. And um, I've, I've just really come to respect him as an educator. Uh, the other thing is what I like about what Robert does in his lectures is that he analogizes what Kierkegaard does to understanding the Bible. Um, people can quote scriptures. People can go to sermons and things like that. But if you don't wrestle with it personally, you will not be inwardly changed. If you just sort of rely for other people to objectively communicate the essence of that text, you don't experience all these sort of inward deep, deepening and meaningful life that is supposed to go along with that process. And so I think, I think Robert points out that teachers and educators can only take us so far. What I'm going to make, what Robert is making, what others have made can, can get you to a point. But if you really want to be profoundly changed you need to take a cue from Robert, myself, and other Kierkegaardians who are obsessed with this thinker that you just need to wrestle with the text. We can kind of steer you in the right direction and give you some concepts and things like that. But for you to have a subjective understanding, you have got to enter into a conversation with this thinker. And ultimately, because this thinker is drawing from the gospel, Christ. So that's it. Um, Download the Noetic app, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to hear more about lectures, podcasts, reviews of intellectual property materials that I find floating out there. Um, yeah, go subscribe and, and download. And you should subscribe to Robert's channel and just listen to all his lectures. He's great. Um, I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description box below. Okay, I think I covered everything. Bye, guys.